All right, guys, so now we are going to start to do the, the question number 16. And in this question number 16, what do we have? On the question number 16, the length and the width of a rectangle. So we have a rectangle. And the length is right here, and the width is right there. The length and the width of a rectangle have a sum of 84. The length and the width of a rectangle have a sum of 84. So L plus W equal 84. If X represents the width, X represents the width, so W equal X. And um, what is a function to represent the area of the rectangle? Well, what is the area of the rectangle? Okay. Well, the area of the rectangle is equal to the multiplication of the length by the width. In that case, I got A equal L multiplied by X. If I had to rewrite the first equation, I'm going to call the, that the equation number one and this the equation number two, I can rewrite the first equation as L plus X equal 84. Why L plus X equal 84? Because they said W, the width, is equal to X. So, uh, now, if I want to express the uh, area, um, I'm going to have to express L from the equation number one, L equal 84 minus X, so forth, the area in the expression number two is going to be equal to 84 minus X times X, 84 minus X times X. And so for the equation number 16, the answer was D. Okay, the answer was D. Number 17, two cars leave an, leave an intersection. One car travel north, the other east. When the car traveling north had gone six miles, the distance between the two cars was two miles more than the distance traveled by the car heading east. If the eastbound car traveled X mile, what is the distance between the car in terms of X? Well, when you look at this uh, problem number 17, it's just about how to transform your problem, your word problem, into a mathematical equation. And for this problem number 17, the answer was supposed to be B. Or number 17, the answer is supposed to be B. Okay? Answer is supposed to be B. Why? First of all, because I'm supposed to have X plus 2 as the distance between the cars in terms of X. I encourage you to represent by the drawing uh, the uh, problem and you will see why the answer is B. If you have any question, you can always ask me in class. Problem number 18. Problem number 18, find the maximum y on the graph y equal minus 5x. So we have the graph minus 5x square, minus 50x, minus 127. What does represent the maximum? Okay, let's take a look and let's try to represent this function. So I'm going to go back to, um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, I'm going to go back to the uh, uh, internet with with Desmos. Here we go. So I'm in back internet with Desmos. I'm going to get rid of this expression. I already forgot the expression. Minus 5x squared minus 50x. Minus 5x squared minus 50x. Minus 5x squared minus 50x. And I bet it was another minus. Minus what? Minus 127 minus 127 okay and, and the question was what is the maximum of this function i would like to show you again they are saying finding the one the maximum value of y well when you look at the maximum value of y graphically you can see that the maximum value of y is going to be negative 2. maximum value of y when you put this point right here you can see it's negative 2. so if I use my calculator, I'm going to say, well, y max 
it's y equal negative 2 okay y equal negative 2 and so the answer for problem number 18 is a which is negative 2 oh, I'm going to change the color because I like the red for give you the answer so it was a that is the easiest way and I would uh, advise you to to do that when you have a very nice and uh, direct uh, value of y like y equal negative 2 negative 1 etc um, I encourage you to look at what is this point this particular point right here I'm going to show you again how do we call this little point right there please take a look at your lecture note and you will find the answer and you will see how we can find the, the this value of uh, in, a, in another way than just looking at the graph all right problem number 19 problem number 19 on this problem number 19 we having the function y equal minus 5 x cube minus 2 x square plus 1 over 2 x plus 5 and the question is the function graph is, is in a window that causes hidden behavior experiment with various windows to locate the extrema of the function so what I want to do is mainly trying to have a better view of this area right here and so I'm going to use my my uh, Desmos calculator so minus 5x cubed minus 2x squared so I'm going to go back right here minus 5x cubed minus uh, minus what I already forgot minus 2x squared 2x square then I got to add half of x plus 5 half of x plus half of x plus 5 okay and now what I want to do is I'm going to change the window okay on the computer and with my touchscreen it's kind of much much easier all right and now I got a very bad and better view obviously with your calculator you will have to do something way different okay but I have a better view of what I was able to see I would like to remind you what I was seeing right there it's way different than I'm seeing right there and now obviously the uh, answer regarding the question number 19 was supposed to be D the local maximum the local maximum was supposed to be at 009 and 5003 if you look at the graphic the local maximum is right here okay we good 002 003 we good okay excellent so let's finish this problem try to do the last one uh, 009 actually they were saying 009 so do we have 009 let's see that just one second I just want to make sure uh, yes because if that is zero if that's 0 0.2 this one is 0 0.1 and so right there it makes sense it's 009 okay we good so let's go back to the problem number 20 and in this problem number 20 in this problem number 20 what do we have we're having a, a graph and basically find the equation that given that the given graph represent and give the domain range and, and the interval uh, over which the function is increasing and decreasing okay when when you look at this answer you are going to be able to say that you have p of x equal 2x4 plus x cubed minus 3x square minus 3x square minus 6x and that is based on what you are supposed to know regarding when you look at the graph regarding the maximum and the number of maximum and minimum okay so uh, the answer was supposed to be C we'll go back to that in class but right now I just don't want to say more than that thank you very much